Hi everybody, my name is Shayla and I make these videos every Wednesday. This Wednesday I'm coming to you from the desert of Burning Man. Right now I'm at the top of a cargo container. This is what Burning Man looks like a week before the festival starts. I got my sweet hat. I wrote down a few things that I want to tell you about. So this is going to be filled with 70,000 people in like a week. Right now, it's kind of hard in selfie mode here. What are you looking over here? <clears throat> right now we're building yurts, which look like this. We've got about 30 something to build. Two people are here, yeah. And then we've built these, I cannot see in the reflection, it's too bright. All right, there. The domes, we've got two domes that we built that will put skins over the top of them. I'm nervous about doing this live because I've got a bunch of wild people here. <laughs> here they go. <laughs> this is an art car. Where is it? Right there. That's an elephant art car. <laughs> and I'm going to go down these stairs right here real quick. Uh, I hope I don't fall on the way down. Okay. Alright, so, <laughs> I'm pretty sure we're good. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> cool guys, here's everyone at lunch. <laughs> I'm going to tell you a couple of things that are necessary for the playa. We have bikes, totally essential. Tents. And I'm gonna go through my list here. Um, so I'm out here a week early building for the festival that's gonna be starting in a week. So that's why there's no one here. This is not a festival I've learned. This is, someone else could tell you the definition better. I cannot, I'm gonna park it in the shade here. Ugh. All right, so there are a couple words. So the desert here, like down here, the sand, is called the playa. And they're very concerned about keeping it as you found it. So anything that's rolling around, like trash, is called moop, matter out of place. So you have to pick it up and get rid of it. <sighs> I'm hot. It's hot out here. But it's not the kind of hot that's like, like you're in the jungle and you're sweaty and gross and stinky. It's like dry heat where you just kind of chafe where things rub together and that's about it. Um... So those things that I showed you are called yurts. That's what we're building. They're like styrofoam and aluminum foil on the outside. So it's kind of waterproof and it keeps you cool. And they're the what you saw drive by, that was an art car. So those are pretty cool. Those can only go like five miles an hour because it gets crazy out here with the desert storms. Sometimes you can only see 10 feet in front of you. It's wild. Um, let's see what else I have on my list. I have been using the playa as sunscreen. Not even kidding. I'll grab dirt and just put it on my shoulders. And it protects me from the sun pretty good. The couple of things that you need for this place is you want a bike because it's ginormous. It's like seven, maybe not seven, maybe like two or three miles all the way across, but there's 70,000 people and it's shaped like a giant clock. So you might be at like one o'clock A or one o'clock C or something and that's how you find your way around the playa. If you want to have goggles, like these sweet goggles, I can't see, but these are... These are actually not mine. They're a prep for the video. You're welcome. But there, you want a, like a tinted pair for the day and then a clear pair for night because the sun will come and just blast you in the eyes and it's game over. And then you've got one of these scarves for the same reason. If it starts to get too sandy, you put this over your face so that you can breathe, basically. Um, and then vinegar. So this ply is super alkaline and like basic. So you have to spray vinegar on your skin to like so your feet don't crack and all sorts of crazy stuff and your hair just gets like pliified. I don't even know how else to describe it. <clears throat> it gets nasty. We, uh, we are currently building showers, so haven't had one of those in a few days. Not a problem. Not a problem for me. <laughs> um, who has questions? Does anyone have questions about Burning Man? That's kind of it. I kind of just wanted to give you like a little... There's a few more people on now. So this is what it looks like right now. There's not hardly anyone here. We're here an entire week early just building for Burning Man. And starting Monday, 
it's going to turn into a little mini city. We have a dome that we've built. We have about 13 yurts up out of 37 or something. These back here are shift pods. Can't really see anything. It's so bright out here. And the playa will just eat all of your electronics. So your car, it's like it's like a a baking soda or something. It just gets in everything. What is my favorite activity here? So people think that Burning Man's just this wild place, which don't get me wrong, it is. But you can kind of do with it what you want. You can kind of be wild and crazy and have a great time. Or there's like, there's yoga classes and there's, I don't know, tea spots. There's an entire book that they give you that um, tells you everything that you can do every day. So a lot of times you'll wake up Monday morning and you'll look at what's going on in, on Monday. Sorry if it's windy. And you'll start heading there on your bike and most likely you're not gonna make it there. It's just gonna, you're just gonna have a destination and you'll, you'll never make it. Uh, Melissa, what's the theme this year? It's something about rituals, like, I can't remember. Something about rituals, like basically just getting out of rituals, basically getting out of like the loop of everything and not doing rituals. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I'm trying to think of what else to tell you. There's, there's biffies everywhere and they have little blue lights so at night you know where they are and you can just bike your way over to them. There's no money out here at all. There's, you don't have money, you have no need for money, you can't buy anything, you can only exchange things. You bring a cup with you and the cup will get refilled at coffee spots, at a bar, anywhere that you have. You just you have to show your ID, which is kind of surprising. But you just bring your cup, you give it to them and they fill it right up for you. Why do I keep going back? It's a solid question. These conditions are not easy. <laughs> it's fun. It's fun to be out here. And it's fun to be out here before everyone else is out here because there's nobody here. And so you just, you've got your crew that you're working with. I have probably like 20 people that I'm working with. And you just, it's fun to, it's like it's community and it's a good time. It's a good time. Um, yeah. Did you bring your tutu? Of course I brought my tutu. It's Tutu Tuesday. Every Tuesday you have to wear your tutu, which is only once during the festival. Ah, okay, so here's the coolest thing. So there's out there, you can't see them. They're being built right now. There's the Burning Man and then there's a temple. So the Burning Man gets burned the second to last day to the, uh, of the end. And that's like a big giant party. It goes up in some serious flames and people are hollering and screaming and then they party. And then there's the temple. And the temple is something that during the week you're supposed to go and like write on the wall or say something this is very hippie and burning man but something that you're supposed to release and let go of and whatever and then the last night of the man they just light up the temple they just burn it and so it's like silent and people are just like seeing all of their things just burn up but we're like two and a half hours north of reno just in the middle of the desert and there's it rained yesterday which is kind of nice because i don't know so it's not so dusty but we stop midday, we wake up at like seven, uh, have breakfast, get started, stop between like two and four and just rest because it's too hot otherwise. And then we work until about midnight, which is so nice because it's nice and cool. And then you just go to bed, you do a baby shower bath where you literally wipe everything that you can with baby shower and vinegar to like soak up your skin, have it get all nice and not so dry anymore. And then you rub coconut oil from head to toe. And I put my hair in a braid this year, and I'm assuming it's just going to dread into one giant braid dread. But that's fine. <laughs> It'll be fine. Um, until we can get the showers set up, and then we'll shower. But <clears throat> there's definitely anything and everything out here. Um, but right now, it's just pretty chill. Everybody's uh, just building, getting everything ready to go. Um, I'm probably going to catch the shower. I can't think of anything else that I want to say. If you just joined in, you missed some things. Just rewatch it when it comes back on live or not live. Um, I'll do one little roundabout tour for you guys. So you've got this is our camp. Let me kind of run out here a little bit. Running, running in my super awesome boots. <laughs> so here's our camp. We've got cars and trailers, and this is like our lunch where we have lunch in that little tent. Oh no, that's not. That's a yurt. It's back there. But then you've got these floodlights so that we can work until midnight. All these trailers, these, uh, what are these called? If you know what they're called, write it in, I can't remember. But these like shipping containers, cargo containers, that has all the stuff for the week. There's like, there's couches and all sorts of things in there. And then this is the playa, this is all of it. We're like way back, 
The man is in there. Oh, it's actually, it's in there. You can't really see it. And this is going to be completely filled in a week. So maybe in a week I'll get on live again so you can see the difference. But right now it's just, there's nothing. Um, that's it for now, I guess. So thank you guys for watching. I am showing all of what's going on on my Instagram stories, living on a one-way. So I kind of give you updates about when we get a rainstorm and just getting up and making yurts and all sorts of stuff. So check that out and I will see you guys all next week. Thank you for watching. Bye. Well, I don't know how to turn this off.